This is K-Pop RC, and welcome to the third iteration of the Scale Drift Project. Stay tuned, because we're giving away. That's right, thanks to Hobby Wing North America, I'll be giving away ESC and Motor Combo. It's a pretty sweet bit of kit, so stick around for more info. Yo, welcome to K-Pop RC, the channel where I make sick videos of scale models. Pretty much anything that's got a remote. Join me while I drain my wallet and build the most crazy, big, scale, sometimes outlandish RC projects out there. So, don't forget to sub up for giveaways and sick-ass RC content. Sometimes there's fire. In this episode of K-Pop RC, we add a rear deck and we do something a little special, something I've never seen done before on the quest to build a scalish drifting monster E30 touring wagon. We're bound to get a little crazy. We did dive into the wacky world of magical pixies, wires and lead solder, which is always a great time. We also fumble over a firewall, wire up some circuit bobs, breakout boards, and uh, test out our insanely complicated wiring, hoping for absolutely no magic smoke. But first, let's get to arguably the best part, the rear end. I 3D printed a support structure to hold the polystyrene sheet, then I whipped out the cat the cardboard aided design to get the shape just right. That was the easy part. Now the hard part, I can't decide whether to go the fuel cell or the recessed spare tire route. Let me know in the comments below what you think. It is a very sexy fuel cell, which was printed and donated kindly by shapeways.com. Check them out for some moderately priced but very high quality prints of scale as shit RC bits and bobs. There will be a few more amazing little details from them on this E30 wagon drift project. Sure to tantalize and titillate all you scale loving junkies. On to the rear lights. Naturally, I designed my own set of rear light buckets. Here you can see my iterative design processes processes, iteration after iteration. They sure do fit nice, if I do say so myself. I then proceeded to populate all of the lights with LEDs conveniently pre-bought with resistors. So I can throw up to 12 volts at these suckers if I want. 
No issues. My idea, which in my head seemed cake, has spiraled a little out of control. The idea is to create a bus. Let's call it the K-Bus. What is a K-Bus exactly? Well, bus is a set of conductors carrying data and control signals within a computer system to which pieces can be connected in parallel. Good God, right? Good God. Well, that's just the gist. I'm a little tired of messy wire management in my builds and I thought maybe I could just Ben heck the out of some of these problems. Regrettable acting. Bend them hatches! I acquired some ribbon cable from an old PC and I purchased some 14 pin ribbon connectors and a few breadboards. This will be the backbone of the K-Bus. This 12-wire ribbon will carry two 5-volt power wires, one ground, all three radio channels, and the pulsed ground for every single LED from front to back. What makes this setup so genius is that you can tap into this ribbon anywhere along its path and pull power, radio signal, or lights. Shibby! Center the center bob. center bob, let's call him Billy. Billy will feed everything into the K-Bus. This is where the receiver will live as well as the BEC. Channel one, two, three, it's gonna get feed into here. Those will feed the bus power and send through the signal portion of the three radio channels. I've conveniently placed three steering outputs, two throttle outputs, and a single third channel output on this Billy Bob. Oh. Also, I'll be pulling the turning signal grounds for the side markers off this Billy as well. The rear Bob, let's call him Ricky. Ricky will take everything in the rear. Here's where we feed five volts to the rear light buckets. The same five volts powers the rear radio channel outputs. You can tap in here and pull steering, throttle, or third channel, or even just five volt power. Do whatever, man, because Ricky will take it. The front Bob, let's call him Joe. Joe is the brains of the bunch, Bobby Joe is the bob who pulses the grounds for the lights. Here you will find a generic cheapo light controller that I bought for $4 Canadian with free shipping. An eBay purchase so small and shipping so long, it ends up being a pleasant surprise when you remember you ordered it. Surprisingly, the way this puppy works is it pulses the ground side of the LEDs, so pins seven to 13 on the K-Bus are just grounds coming from this light controller. Any light using this ground, no matter what the power source, will flash at the controller's command. See? The brains of the bunch. Moment of truth. I'm gonna plug in the brains of the bunch. Oh shit. Yes. Okay, this is my jam. Also, let's not forget we can pull power, ground, and radio channels from here as well. How cool is that? The K Bus Bops, Billy, Ricky, and Joe. Legends. That's it for this episode of K Pop RC. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the project. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos. And I try to pump them out. It's really difficult, it's super tough this year but I'll do what I can. Uh, stay tuned for a bunch of other videos I have on deck. Let's see if we can pump these out weekly. I'm not promising anything though, because sometimes I just like to ride my mountain bike. You know what I'm saying? If you want to win the ESC and motor combo, what you need to do is go to hobbywingdirect.com. It's 
hobbywingdirect.com and you need to make yourself a user. Just a heads up, if you use the discount code KPOPROCKS, you'll get 15% off of your purchase. But all you got to do is you got to make yourself a login, put your address there, fill out all that stuff, and then, uh, and then comment done on this video. Sweet. K-pop out. <laughs>